Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got this uh, blue quadrilateral ABCD fully inscribed uh, in a circle with the center O, as you can see in this given diagram, such that uh, these interior angles of this uh, quadrilateral are lowercase a, lowercase b, lowercase c, and this angle uh, ADC is 114 degrees. And moreover, uh, this arc measurement uh, AB is uh, 142 degrees, whereas this other arc measurement uh, CD is uh, 100 degrees. And now our task is uh, to calculate the value of these angles A, this angle uh, B, and this angle uh, C. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. Before we proceed any further, let me go over the basic uh, review. And here's our very first step. Let's recall the definition of a cyclic uh, quadrilateral. A quadrilateral is called a cyclic uh, if all the vertices of the quadrilateral uh, lie on the very same uh, circle. As you can see in this uh, given diagram, uh, this quadrilateral ABCD is a cyclic uh, quadrilateral since all uh, of these uh, vertices uh, lie on the very same circle. And moreover, the opposite angles uh, of a cyclic quadrilateral uh, have a total of 180 degrees. In other words, uh, these opposite angles are uh, supplementary angles. And now let's assume that this uh, angle is uh, lowercase a. This angle is lowercase b, this angle is lowercase c, and finally this angle is uh, lowercase d. Then according to the definition of the cyclic uh, quadrilateral, the sum of these uh, two opposite uh, interior angles uh, must be equal to 180 degrees. In other words, angle A plus angle C must be equal to 180 degrees. And likewise, uh, these two other opposite interior angles uh, B plus uh, D must be equal to 180 degrees as well. And now let's revert our attention back to our uh, original problem. We can see that this uh, blue quadrilateral ABCD is a cyclic uh, quadrilateral since all of its uh, vertices ABCD lie on the very same circle. And furthermore, uh, this uh, interior angle is uh, 114 uh, degrees. And according to the definition, the sum of these uh, two opposite uh, interior angles must be equal to 180 degrees. So therefore, I can write uh, B plus uh, 114 degrees must be equal to 180 degrees. Let's subtract uh, 114 degrees from both sides. This is gone. So therefore, our angle B must be equal to 66 uh, degrees. So therefore, our this uh, angle B turns out to be 66 uh, degrees. And likewise, the sum of uh, these uh, two opposite interior angles A plus C must be equal to 180 degrees as well. So therefore, I can write uh, angle A plus angle uh, C must be equal to 180 degrees. And now I'm going to label this as our equation uh, number uh, one. And here's our next step. Let's focus uh, on this circle with the center O. And now let's focus on this uh, angle uh, AOB, which is uh, 50 degrees. And this uh, angle uh, AOB is also called the angle at the center. And now let's assume that P is the point uh, on the circle. Then for the same uh, arc uh, AB, this uh, angle uh, APB is called the angle uh, at the circumference. And now let's recall the central angle theorem. The angle at the center is uh, twice the angle at the circumference. And here we can see our angle at the center is uh, AOB, which is uh, 50 degrees. Then this uh, angle at the circumference uh, is going to be half of this uh, angle. So that is going to be 25 uh, degrees. So thus our angle uh, APB is going to be 25 degrees and this is called uh, the angle at the circumference. So therefore please bear in mind that this uh, arc uh, AB measurement is going to be twice as uh, this uh, angle at the circumference. 
and here's our next step let's focus on this uh, arc uh, ac and this arc uh, subtends uh, this angle uh, abc at the circumference and we know this angle at the circumference is uh, 66 degrees then we know from our previous review this uh, arc uh, ac angle is going to be twice of uh, 66 degrees so this uh, arc ac angle is going to be 2 times 66 means 132 degrees so therefore our arc ac measurement turns out to be 132 degrees and we know that this uh, arc cd measurement is uh, 100 degrees as you can see over here so therefore uh, the measurement of this arc uh, ad is going to be 132 minus uh, 100 that means uh, this arc uh, ad measurement turns out to be 32 degrees so therefore we figured out our this arc uh, ad measurement as uh, 32 degrees and here's our next step let's focus uh, on this uh, arc uh, bd and we can see this uh, arc bd measurement is going to be 142 degrees uh, plus uh, 32 degrees let me go ahead and add these one that is going to give us uh, 174 degrees so thus our uh, arc measurement uh, bd turns out to be 174 degrees and now let's make an observation we can see this arc uh, ab subtends uh, this angle uh, at the circumference uh, which is angle c so therefore uh, we can see that this uh, angle uh, at the circumference is going to be the half of this uh, arc uh, angle so that is going to give us uh, the angle at the circumference is going to be 87 degrees so therefore if our arc uh, measurement bd is 174 degrees uh, then our angle uh, at the circumference of BCD is going to be 87 degrees as you can see over here so thus our angle C turns out to be 87 degrees and now let's focus on this uh, equation 1 and here we have copied down our equation 1 angle A plus angle C is equal to 180 degrees and we know our angle C is uh, 87 degrees so I'm going to substitute this angle uh, A as 87 degrees over here and now we are going to subtract 87 degrees from both sides this is gone so therefore our angle c turns out to be 93 degrees so thus our angle a turns out to be 93 degrees so thus after all the calculations and manipulations our angle a turns out to be 93 degrees angle b is 66 degrees and finally angle c is 87 degrees Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.